All right, look at this. There's like 40 active volcanoes at least coming out towards the pincher. And here's spur right up here, which is the rectum. And all that is the digestive system up there. Coming down here is all the venom. And that's all festering now. They're active, active volcanoes in the Aleutian chain. She counts about 40 of them. Okay, we have two extremely intriguing possibilities. Spur is up here and they're having a lot of tremor activity, shallow, right in this area here is my takeaway from this so far, not being informed and in the loop. I, as much as I can glean from this, there is shallow, a lot of earthquakes right in this area, the tremors. And I believe there's some kind of emissions coming out, and I believe the, the like the puddle in the middle of the, the caldera there is changing colors, smoking, whatever. Now, I also know that there was a, a kind of a pretty good eruption out here in the Aleutian chain. Now, what is happening here? I don't know. They have monitors all through these because they're all, this is an extremely one just gigantic, absolutely enormous volcanic system, volcanic system. It's one huge tube. It has to be if it's what I think it is, and I know it is what I think it is, because it comes out and it services Scorpzilla's pincher. It has to be one tube, and it has to have created some very, very noxious chemistry and still have fleshy stuff around it, which the noxious chemistry will invade if it warms up, and then it will become extremely explosive. Let me explain to you what my take is of the tail of Scorbzilla. All right, so we got Scorpy here. He's laying here. He's just, you know, he's laying there. Now, up here, you see the height of what we're looking at here? This, it just drops right off because this is his body. Up here, we're looking at minus 50 meters, right? 50 meters deep. Over here, it's 4,900 meters deep. 5,000 meters deep right there. All the way down here is 5,000, 5,000, all the way around. That's how the 5,000 up here at the top of his body, 180. It's 5,000 meters, it's a mile tall coming up the side of his pincher. This right here, this too, and it's in the middle of his pincher, his tube runs right out. You see that right here? This is where all the activity appears to be in these spots here. For some reason, they're raised up a little higher. It's 68 meters above, and this is 98 meters below. So it, it crests up to here. Now, it comes all the way around. This is his tail. Now here's the pincher, square, injector, I don't care what you call it. Everybody's, oh, no, that's a this, it's a that. Well, whatever it is, is jab somebody with some deadly, deadly nasty fluids. And in this particular case, when Scorbzilla died, this pincher injected out like it would have if it was going to jab somebody. And what it did, right through this tube, right down through this tube, right down through the tube, all the way down through the tube, right down to that injector, which is very, very sharp, pointed, and extremely dangerous. Bam! In this case, there was nothing to whack into. Normally, that thing would have been stuck into somebody's body, squirting juice into it to probably dissolve it. I don't know. What happened here? It came out all that squirt. You can see it. You got to follow it. Just pay attention to the details. It came out here, and it hit here. Now, a little bit of it kept going, 
as gravity does, and some of it just kept squirting down this way. Because this would be opposed by this, pushing this down that way. And whatever this is, that would have been the stuff that he would have been squirting out of his injector. Now, how would that injector work? Well, it would have been pocketed right in here. So let's pay attention to the details once again. Just do a little engineering in your mind. We know that's the injector. Just take it for granted that's the injector. We can see this little ridge is quite obvious to me would be the source of the injection fluid. Now this right here, I think is a muscle. I think this stuff is muscle. Or some kind of tendon. Let's, let's sink in for a minute. But what that does, it, it gives it a wrinkle. Give it a second to settle in. You see this? You see all this little stuff here? I believe that's a muscle, and that can pull or wrinkle this way. It's one or the other, and I think it might be this way, and it pulls in. Now, let's back out of here. Don't forget, this is coming down from the side of the pincher right here. The same sort of stuff over here, too. It's all basically the same. It's a fiber. So what does that do? This is my interpretation. This would go just like that, which means that would stretch. So think about it this way. That goes back. That means this stuff here has to stretch, and that's why it's all pocketed the way it is. This would be the pin. All right, so this rocks back this way. So now the pincher is over here. And this wrinkles on here is where the pin and this would go right back into here. The pin stays where it is. That's, that's anchored there. But this is wrinkly because that's where this would settle back in in its retracted form. All right, pay attention and think about it for a minute. Very simple to see. Now this is, again, the tube that brings down that nasty stuff. Now somewhere along here, it transitions under or whatever to get down to the squirter, injector, pincher, jabber, destroyer, venomizer, and then it would have squirted out into the guy's body or whatever he was attacking. And that's the that's what would have come out into somebody's body. That's my interpretation of this. So, where would his pooper be? Well, it would be right where Mount Spur is because it is having poop come out of there. I'm just saying it is what it is. It's not my fault. It's just there, and it's my my name is Spur, but. You know, they always used to call me a rectum, uh, not really by that exact word, but I, I think they might have been referring to this. <laughs> I always thought they were talking about me, but maybe they were.